Hi everyone. This video is about the upgrades I've done to my old bike. Maybe it could be helpful or give you some ideas as well. Well, I was thinking about buying a new bike. And being 2020 with everything going on, bike sales are at all time high. And everything I looked at is sold out. And they're also raising prices. So I said, well, I'll take my old bike and see if I can make it better. So that's what I've done here. I did some upgrades and I'll kind of go through what I've done here. First off is maintenance items. I took off the forks and the wheels. I went through all the bearings, cleared out the old grease, inspected, and packed with new grease. And uh, adjusted the brakes. My rim brakes here, they have the post on the frame and on the front fork. And there's grease in there that kind of gums up over time. So I took the brakes off here and cleaned that all up and re-lubricated. Adjusted everything and now the brakes work really well. I would sometimes get a drag. One side of the brake would drag and, you know, no matter how it adjusted, it would always drag again. But after that, they're working really good. As for the upgrades, let's begin up front. I got these new fixed alloy forks. I really like the color black. I think it goes well with the bike. The old forks were black as well. Well, I found these on eBay. They're Trek brand. They had some new old stock forks. And uh, I think they'll work really well. These old forks are suspension forks. They're really cheap, have limited travel, kind of falling apart. They're nearly seized up. I don't see how you can do any maintenance on them. And they're also pretty heavy. They had this quill stem. The new forks are threadless, so I had to switch over to threadless, which I pretty much wanted to do anyway. So I got a shorter stem, replaced the steel handlebars with the alloy flat bars, and got everything mounted up. And by the way, if your brake lever is giving you a squeaking sound or a cranky or a creaky sound, apply a drop of oil there. That's what mine were doing, so now they're perfectly quiet. Perhaps the best upgrade I did to the bike was the drivetrain. I replaced the three by chain ring up front here with a one by. I got new cranks and pedals. I have this Shimano Mega Range 11 to 34 8 speed freewheel in back here. So I figured that was good enough to work with a one by. So I went with the 32 tooth crank ring here. It's a narrow wide. It's supposed to hang on to the chain better. The problem I had with this, well, when I was riding on trails, I would drop the chain quite often. I get phantom shifts and can never really tune out the clackety clack sound of the chain. But once I got this dialed in, this sounds, well, it don't make sound, it's quiet. Really impressed. I went over rough terrain, shifting up and down, you know, one at a time through the gears. And it, it just shifts so perfect now, and it's quiet, no matter what gear I'm in. It has a pretty cheap derailleur. The original derailleur got pushed into the spokes and broken on this bike, so I, I got a new one few years ago. I did some maintenance on it. I oiled the pivot points and cleaned it up. Adjusted the barrel nut here on the cable and man is it dialed in. I'm just so thrilled with the drivetrain now. Another upgrade I did a few years ago I got a new seat, WTB, and an alloy post. I had a suspension post before but this is much lighter. I was actually surprised I saved a pound and a half of weight here. Even the drivetrain was a 1.3 pounds savings. And like I say, it's just so much better. Next upgrade was the tires. The old tires had a smoother tread. They were Kenda 700 by 38C. It lasted pretty long. I'm really happy with those. 
but I upgraded to Kenda 700 by 42 and I got more of a knobby tread to help a little bit with the trails. I can run them slightly lower pressure as well for trail riding. So far, pretty happy with these as well. But I do need to get more riding in on trails to see how they really perform. One fringe benefit of all these upgrades was the weight savings. The bike started out at just under 33 pounds, and now it weighs 25.8 pounds as it sits here. So that's pretty significant. You know, that's 7 pounds less weight to carry around. And also it's nice when I'm lifting it up in the car, it's less weight to, you know, when you're carrying the bike. So I'm really happy with that. It just feels so much lighter riding it, especially when I hit those heels. I know some people try to save grams or a bit of a pound here or there, but you know, overall seven pounds is really significant. Well, that's my old bike upgrades. Hopefully it gives you some ideas for upgrading your bike if you want to go that route. That'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching.